So how's it going today guys? Back here with another video. Today we're going to be opening up some of these new NBA All-Star History Packs in NBA 2K25, my team. This pack's just dropped today. It's kind of a bit of a subpar set. Damian Lillard, of course, is going to be pretty good, but unpullable. And then we've got Isaiah Thomas, Andre Drummond, Desmond Mason, Kyle Kuzma, and Isaiah Ryder. Kyle Kuzma and Desmond Mason will be pretty good cards, I would say. So... That's kind of what we got going for the set here today. It kind of feels like a little bit of a filler set. Like last Tuesday, we had some interesting cards, some cards that we usually don't get, or of players that we don't usually get, but this is kind of like of players that we do usually get. Like we always get an Isaiah Ryder card. We always get a Desmond Mason card. We usually get a Pink Diamond Dame at the beginning of the year, it seems like. So overall, the set's not bad. The odds are the same as last Tuesday. 1.5% on the premium packs for a diamond, sub 1 at a pink diamond, and it's a sub 1 for everything on the base packs. We're going to open up 20 base packs and see if we can get at least a shaker. That's what we're hoping for. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we do start ripping packs, so please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. We do pack openings and other My Team content here. A subscription to the channel is much appreciated. Always make sure to leave a like on the video too. That goes a long way for me. And that is also much appreciated, but like I said, without further ado, let's start ripping. Let's see if we can get anything here, man. I don't think that we'll get a card from the set, but even just like an Amethyst Peak pull would be all right. We do start off with a Ruby, which isn't too bad. Jimmy Butler. So I have found a couple ways to make a little bit of MT on the auction house. It's kind of not ideal, though, because of the whole pending thing. You have to wait for your sale to go through your purchase, and then you have to kind of wait to get the MT when you sell the card as well. But I really need to make a video soon, an auction house tips video, and show you guys kind of my trick that I've been using while I play. Just been sticking to breakout. Did a couple triple threat breakout boards. Did a clutch time breakout board. Got a couple three-point royalty deluxe packs. Didn't really pull anything, but... Um, yeah, I feel like that's not a bad reward. You just never know what you could pull out of that. We get another Emerald Jeremy Grant. Let me know if you guys rip any of these packs, and if you do, what you did end up pulling. As always, we get a Gold Ben Simmons. Pretty much you can quick sell Emeralds, Sapphires, and Rubies. But Golds, I would say, you know, some Golds can get rare. And the Auction House really has been fluctuating this year. Because, like, sometimes it'll be, like, 5 or 10 of a certain gold up, and then they won't be worth anything. But if you check the next day, there might not even be a single one up, and you can sell one quick for, like, 29.50, 39.50. So it really, really fluctuates, so you just kind of have to pay attention. And holding cards, I would say, is a better idea than ever. Because, like I said, you know, there might be a bunch in the auction house one day, and then the next day there might be none. Especially with these early sets. I'm sure that we're going to get some super packs at the end of the season. And then every card will go way down in value. But right now, if you pull something and then hold it for like a week or two after the packs are out of the market, then the card will really go up in value. I saw that with a couple sapphires that I had from the three-point royalty set. They were worth like 3 4 k when the packs came out. A week later, they were like 10 k So just keep that in mind. We are about halfway through here. We've got some rubies and sapphires and stuff, but no shakers yet. All right, on to the 11th pack. I feel like we're due for at least something here. Even just an amethyst would be really great to see. And there is, of course, just like last week, there's a free 10-pack box available. It's unsellable, of course, but... You can do some challenges and get a free All-Star History 10-pack box. But the odds on these Tuesday packs for the premium packs, 1.5% at a diamond is really, really bad. The Friday packs have much better odds. And it is always nice with these base packs, too, if you pull some badges, stuff like that. Still has a little bit of value, some badges do on the auction house. 
There's like three or four specific ones that are worth over 5k. Okay, we're on to the last five packs. I would like to see these Tuesday packs. I'm sure that like next season, they're probably going to keep these odds for the whole season. But next season, I would like to see like a above a sub 1% for at least an Amethyst so we can start seeing some more shakers. That would be really nice. We're about done here though, man. We got two more packs left. We are getting a lot of um, gem pulls, like non-gold, but that's almost not ideal. Like you'd think that it would be, but it's not because golds just have more value. All right, man. We'll quick sell a couple things. I will bite the bullet and do that really quick. And just let me know what you guys are thinking of my team so far. Definitely a lot better than last year. And unpopular opinion, I really did not like 2K22 at all. But I was, um... I was a fan of 2K23. I like 2K21 the best, 2K20 second best, 2K23 the third best. Because 2K20 was the first one that I played. And I would say this year, for me, is better than 2K22 and 2K24. I just really didn't like the gameplay in 2K... Um, in 2K22... I mean, the, the rewards, the auction house, all that was great, but I just didn't, I wasn't a fan of the gameplay at all. We're just going to go ahead and just go for broke here and sell all of our gems. It'll probably be enough to open up like two more packs. I'm definitely going to hold on to the golds for now. All right. All right, that got us 9K, so we're gonna go back to the market. We're gonna rip open two more and just hope for the best here, man. Gold Obi Toppin. All right, final pack. It's been so long. Going back to even last year, I'm not even sure if we got like a really good pull on the final pack, but. Just something here on this last pack would be sweet. I'm gonna end things off with a gold Andrew Wiggins. So, if, if I was you guys and I was opening these NBA All-Star History Packs, I would avoid the premium packs with odds for a card from the set being 1.5%. I would avoid the premium packs. If you're gonna open some, I would just open up a bunch of base packs. But honestly, it's better to not open packs on Tuesday and wait for Friday because I think the odds on these ironclad packs, especially these premium ones, I know they're really expensive, but the odds are pretty decent. Like a lot of diamonds come out of them if you're opening packs at like high mass. So I would wait for Friday for now if you got some MT or some VC that you're going to spend on packs because I'm sure that this Friday sick with these being like filler cards is going to be really good. So that's just what I would recommend. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, please make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Please make sure to leave a like on the video. appreciate you guys tuning in as always. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next vid-e-o.